Here are several patients with hernias, a right inguinal hernia in a female, a right inguinal hernia in a male, a left inguinal hernia in a male, and an abdominal hernia. Some hernias are more difficult to see, but can be palpated. These are all somewhat painful, but clinically there's no concern for incarceration. For comparison, this is an incarcerated hernia with skin changes, pain out of proportion, and the patient is ill-appearing. We would not attempt to reduce this because it may contain dead bowel and you don't want to push necrotic bowel back into the abdomen. It needs a surgeon, not a reduction. To reduce an uncomplicated inguinal hernia, start by placing the patient in 20 degrees of Trendelenburg. I remember the T in Trendelenburg also stands for toes, so this means tilting the bed with toes up. While in this position, apply an ice pack to the hernia for 15 to 30 minutes. This alone might reduce the hernia, or at least it'll help reduce the swelling and increase your chances for a successful reduction. Bending the knees may also help the abdominal muscles relax. Pain medication or a benzodiazepine will also help ease relaxation. Here's Dr. Mac Brown's technique. Lift the patient's legs while attempting manual reduction with gentle pressure over the hernia until it reduces back through the fascial defect. I have to say, this is one of the fastest hernia reductions I've ever seen. Let's look at another hernia reduction and I'll explain my technique. This is an abdominal hernia, so the patient is supine instead of Trendelenburg. For my approach, I slowly apply pressure. Ideally, you'd palpate the fascial defect and the hernia stalk. One hand provides counter pressure at the stalk, and the other hand slowly pushes it back through the fascial defect. In many patients, it's quite difficult to palpate the fascial defect and know which way to push, especially when there's more adipose tissue. So here's my guess and check method. One hand is at the stalk, providing counter traction, and one hand is pushing the hernia contents towards the stalk. Think of a clock face and apply gentle pressure starting at noon. Slowly work your way around the clock, just like we do in the ER. Here's Dr. Nicole Bagot's technique. In this case, you could actually feel the stalk and which direction you needed to push. But notice how much she is bracing the stalk with counter pressure as she pushes the hernia back in. Let's take a look at this model I made of a hernia. Now imagine we're under the skin, so I'm going to peel back this layer, and this is what a fat-containing hernia might look like. With one hand, try to find the stock, and with the other hand, work those contents towards your other hand. Try to imagine you're pushing the herniated contents back through the fascial defect. Again, you don't always know which way to push, so you have to work your way around the clock, pushing in different directions until you find give and reduce the hernia. Once reduced, observe the patient and make sure pain is not worsening, which would raise concern for ischemic or necrotic bowel. I'm emergency physician, Dr. Jess Mason.